Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day two of our challenge how to go from stock to soaring with a six figure bag making business. How was day one? I hope you enjoyed it. Now it's day two and we want to look at bag fabrics and accessories. We want to know what kind of accessories, what kind of materials we need for the bag making business. If you are new to the business, this is the appropriate time for you to know all the various kind of materials and hardware you will need to uh, secure, you need to buy so that you will be able to produce the beautiful bags you need to sell to your clients every time. Now, bag materials, it's very important for you to get them right so that you'll be able to make beautiful and functionally appropriate bags for your clients. So I will be giving you a list of the most important materials for bag making so that you know where to start. We are starting with bag fabrics. Bag fabrics are different from the fabrics people use for clothing. Bag fabrics are normally sturdy, they are strong and they can withstand pressure. We have different kinds of bag fabrics and I will be showing you some of them. I will be listing some of them to you later on. And we also have interfacing, which are materials used to stiffen and strengthen bag fabrics before you use them. If the fabric for the bag is not strong enough, you want to strengthen it, then you will need to use interfacing. You have your sewing machine. To be able to put the bag together you will need webbing also webbing are ready-made handles that you just sew directly to the bag without having to sew the handle of your bag from scratch now i will be showing you examples of some of these materials during the live session later in the day so you don't want to miss it we have d rings and other kinds of rings different shapes of rings you have sliders now sliders some people call it adjusters but we have appropriate names just that some people have colloquial names they call these materials but as a backpreneur you should know the appropriate and internationally acceptable names for your accessories and materials we have zippers, we have rivets, we have swivel snap hooks, embellishments, which are also decorative, just decorative items and materials. I what we mean by embellishments. We have lining, which is fabric used for the inside part of your bag. We have grommets and setting tool. Grommets are also known as eyelets, those round um, whole, the, those round things you used to knit in and make beautiful holes on your bags. Those are what we call grommets or eyelets. And then the setting tool is what you're going to use to apply the grommets to your bags. We have Velcro. Velcro, some people know it by some other names, funny, funny names. Some people call it magic tape or whatever there are various colloquial names they call it but the appropriate name is velcro i'll show you later in the day during the live session we have frames for purses we have post chains we have back feet we have um, locks sport locks and magnetic snaps also used as um, closure for your bag now to the bag fabrics we have upholstery fabric these are the kind of fabric you use to make your settee or sofa. You know, they are very strong and durable, so they are very good for making bags too. We have drapery fabric, which are used to make curtains. You know, there are curtains that are very strong and sturdy, so those drapery fabric will also be good for making bags. We have leather, the real leather from cow, cow hide. We also have synthetic leather, which is manufactured. We have suede, vinyl, canvas, wool, neoprene leather, interfacing, lining fabric, 
the name swill cork outdoor fabric as well as nylon these are various kind of fabrics that you use for your bags the nylon can also be used for packaging some of them are transparent so like i said i will be showing you some of these materials and accessories later in the video on the facebook live session so please make sure you don't miss it right now go to unit 2 of our facebook group and get your uh, companion guide or your worksheet and answer the question for the day and submit to the group and i'll see you later in the evening thank you for now